Hey, good morning everyone. I hope you are doing well. I am going to be doing a little side-by-side -side comparison of the IT Cosmetic CC Cream on one half of my face and the Dream and Blend CC Cream on the other half of my face. Um, I just really want to see what's the big difference. You know, why do they both exist on the market? And um, and let's just see like their coverage, their finish, um, and I'll try to do a little bit of a wear test to see how they actually, you know, last throughout the day too. So, um, if you are like me and you've been wondering what the big difference is, then let us begin. Okay, so the one I know the best is definitely the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is in the shade, shade. <laughs> ah, this is in the shade Fair. Um, this, I won't go into the claims until maybe like after I have put them both on to see if they're actually doing what they say they're supposed to. Um, my preferred method of application is with a domed, um, brush like this and kind of like doing a stippling motion. So I'm going to do that with one side and then I'll do the same on the other. Um, I find that with this product just a little bit is really what you need to start with and then from there you can decide what amount of coverage you need. I think the reason why I decided to even try the Derma Blend was because this it Cosmetics, this is their lightest color and the shade isn't just like completely perfect. I would say it's it's really close, but it is much more of like a, um, a yellow tone than like neutral or cool, which I prefer. Also, I am a fun fact. <laughs> um, when I worked at Sephora, uh, we were trained from different brands constantly and sometimes what one brand would say would kind of like negate what someone else said and so sometimes you kind of had to just like figure things out for yourself. Um, anyways, what I kind of came to learn was that the term CC cream stands for color correction. Cream. <laughs> it is kind of meant to be an alternative to like a foundation because it's supposed to have more of like a skincare um like focus and not necessarily just like tinted fluid it's supposed to have like some kind of treatment or protection things like that fun fact Ooh, i woke up really really thirsty today and i haven't quite quenched my thirst yet, but my cat has. I went to the bathroom when I woke up and she followed me in and she jumped to the sink and she put her little face under the faucet so I turned the faucet on and, you know, she's drinking it up. And I thought she'd be done, but she drank for a while, which tells me she is thirsty too. Alright, so that's about the coverage I like. I, I could... I could absolutely make this up to like a full coverage if I wanted, but I just think that this wears better and it looks better like throughout the day. Um, if I do keep piling up, I'll definitely get like a smile line build up and I'll kind of get like my wrinkle uh, lined build up. So this is just fine for me. Now, I don't want to cross-contaminate on the same brush, so I'm just going to use a similar-ish brush, which is just my um, Sigma Flat Headed. Now, I have used this once already. I've only had it for a few days, and I think my thoughts were inconclusive because I had put on a face mask the night before that made me so dry-skinned that the next day I had like little flaky particles all over that this I felt like it wasn't really showing how it 
should look. Okay, so let's start off with a small amount. Again, I'll go over the like the claims at the end so we can formulate thoughts. Right away, this one definitely has a sunscreen quality in the scent. The other one does not. Also, I feel like I like this color match a little more. I think that's what ultimately made me bring it like to the register rather than just putting it in my like online shopping cart. <laughs> Cause I had been eyeballing it for a while and um, there is a YouTuber named, her, her handle is Teresa is dead. And she's a little older than I am, but she has similar skin problem or skin troubles, I should say. She has a lot of redness, sensitivity and dryness. Um, I think hers are a little bit more than mine, um, but she definitely has voiced that the Derma Blend is excellent for her, so I thought that could be a good fit for me. Just want a smidgen around the nose. I mean, the sunscreen scent in this isn't like copper tone in a bottle, it's more like, um, I'd say like 20% of like that copper tone smell. Like you can still detect it, but it's not full blast. Okay. Can we turn the light up a little? Ugh. Okay, so first-ish impression side by side. Let's see. The It Cosmetics over here has a little bit more like a radiant quality. It kind of looks like my skin has like a mist over top of that liquid because it just kind of has like a shine. Um, this side a little bit as well, but it is a little bit more matte, I would say. You can kind of, maybe you can't, <laughs> I can kind of see right here, let me turn the lights down, there's like a little bit of a dry patch right there. The um, Derma Blend side really does like smooth my pore look a little more, even like on one side of my nose to my other side of my nose. As of right now, I'm a little bit torn. I feel like they're very, very similar. Um, even for them swatching side by side quite light and dark against each other, once they're on, they're very, very hard to distinguish. Okay, well, those are my initial thoughts. I'm just gonna whip on some like really basic makeup real quick and then we'll return. Be right back. Hey again everyone and we're back so all I did was just put makeup everywhere else basically um, I did not put on any setting powder or any setting spray to or primer I should mention um, to alter the effect and wear of the two face products so this is just what the product looks So I have a little bit of a powder blush on top and a little bit of a powder bronzer on top, but I feel like just in those places that shouldn't really affect. Um, but here is the rest. Um, what I've noticed just from like getting ready and things like that is that like my forehead lines are getting a little creasy already. But I've noticed that in my old age, that that just happens with basically every face product I use now. Damn the sun. <laughs> Rather, damn me from like ages 16 to 21, trying to be as tan as I possibly can. That's what you get. 
30 year old forehead wrinkles. Um, anyways, I've just got on some Laura Mercier lipstick, um, some M Cosmetics liquid liner, some Sephora Collection blue liner, and then I have Rowan uh, cream to powder glitter shadow on top. Um, let's read what the bottles claim that they, you know, what, what's special about their products. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the IT brand. Okay, so this is supposed to be your skin butt better, color correcting, full coverage cream, plus anti-aging and hydrating serum, and SPF 50 plus UVA, UVB, broad spectrum. Do, 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 do. Um, the directions on this basically treat it as if it's a sun protection product. So it says apply liberal, liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. The thing about these is I will still always wear my sunscreen underneath. And this is just sort of like an added, like, just in case. But I for sure never apply enough of these products for it to really provide that layer of protection. So I don't. I maybe count this as like an SPF 20, if anything. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba -bum. It is not water resistant, so it says to use a water resistant uh, sunscreen if swimming. Yep. Okay, now the Derma Blend. This is the continuous correction full coverage CC cream sunscreen um, and then there's like this little bit that says tone colon coverage correction protection <laughs> not sure what that means um, but this is SPF 50 plus just like the other it also has free radical defense which is unusual I never really read that um, on a face color products. Uh, it's non-comedogenic and they have a claim that it's up to 24 hour color wear. Uh, there's an asterisk, but where's the other asterisk? Oh, protection has a little asterisk next to it. And at the bottom it says, when used as directed with other sun protection me measures. <laughs> nah, ah. Okay, the back. It, this is the shade 10N or Fair One. There's two names. It says, from color correction to continuous correction, visibly improves skin tone. That's all it says. Aside from the sun protection measures. Hmm. Okay, well, in my mind, these really are meant to be like dupes. That's interesting. The Derma Blend says it has a 12 month shelf life but usually on like sunscreen products on like this portion of a bottle or like packaging it'll have like embedded into it the actual expiration date and that is so that if this is like on the shelf at like a, a makeup store that they are required to remove those from the shelf if it becomes that date. I mean, it's also on the box, but if something comes out of the box for some reason, it's also on the package. Um, so this one expires January of 2023. So the idea is whichever comes first. So if I opened this, you know, a couple days ago, it's July 2021, and I have 12 months until it becomes non-effective, like the sun protection part. That's their regulation of for it. However, if I had owned this and never opened it, um, it'll still go bad on its own by January of 2023. So I don't know if you knew that, but there you go. And that's funny. The It Cosmetics one has the exact same expiration date, January of 2023. However, there is not a little um, expiration point for when it be when you've opened it so interesting okay anyway so now for sure I am going to carry on with my day I'm gonna film um, another video like a little like pack with me before I go on my trip tomorrow um, so if you like
planning, organizing, and packing, you probably enjoy that. Um, and then I'll let the day pass, come back, check in, and review and see how things are looking, how things are holding up. And I will see you soon. Hello again, my friends. It's been almost 11 and a half hours since I first applied both sides of my makeup today. Well, my full face makeup today. And I'm just checking in to kind of wrap up the day and kind of see where my final thoughts stand on these two products. Is it one worth, you know, getting more than the other? So if you recall, over here is my uh, Derma Blend side. And over here is my It Cosmetic side. I think for me, when I look in the mirror right now, I see a lot of like rub off like chin area, nose area, and like a little bit of like creasing and like my little line areas. But all in all, I really, <laughs> after all this, I really don't see a big difference. Um, I think, I think what I decided is the it side just really is a little bit more hydrating and then for so that so for my skin at least that is going to make a big difference like long term throughout the day and it's just going to be you know something I can wear maybe all year round even in like colder weather versus the derma blend I might need to wear with like a thicker um primer or moisturizer underneath than normal so anyways I hope you enjoyed just watching my my series of uh, application and trial throughout the day. Um, I would love to hear if you have tried one or both of these, what are your thoughts? Um, does one work better for you? Is one like your holy grail? Have you never, never tried either? Just interested. Anyway, I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day wherever you are, and I really appreciate you spending time with me, and I will see you very soon. Bye.